Hello and welcome to another beta testing Escape from Tarkov and another video from me, Power Players. And today I'm going to be playing as a dirty, dirty scav. Yes, we're going to be going back in and playing as a scav because it seems to be the only way I can actually get any weapons in this game. Because currently, if I play as the PMC, we're a little bit laggy today. The servers might be playing up, so we might have a little bit of trouble getting here now. Yeah, so as I'm playing as my normal character, I have got absolute bugger all. I've only got a hatchet, I've got no weapons, no nothing. So, scav is the way to go, and you can only come in every now and then. I think it is an hour and a half or something like that. There is actually a timer underneath. So we're going to jump in as a scav, and I'm going to play this sneaky beaky. It looks like I'm going to be coming in with a tactical pistol. And let's see if we can get in, grab some goodies, and actually make it out for once. Okay, here we are then, raid number one, day 11, and here we are with my tactical pistol. You know, I always come into this game and I always think immediately, there's such an atmosphere in this game. Definitely unlike any other shooter, the silence is deafening. Right, so I'm going to take this slow, until I can hear anybody, so I know there's somebody down there. Let's, I'm going to keep the pistol up. Just in case. Slowly, slowly. So I can hear somebody above me. And I can hear somebody speaking in Russian, which means there are all scabs here. It's definitely kicking off down there. Let's just have a look. Definitely sounds like somebody's moving around down there. Now that's... Is that a human play with... Let's just get up here and have a quick look. No, actually I might come back down because I usually get shot when I stand up there. That was definitely... Some of the flashlights. You know, I don't really know this level well enough to find out where the next box is, but I'm going to slow my speed down a little bit and just creep up here. Real atmosphere in here, it's fantastic. Now there's... I presume that is an AI scav, because they're not moving. Let's just take this slowly. So, whoa, whoa! Now, that's... I'm presuming that is a human scav player. Because that one there is now moving more like an AI. Now, he could kill me. I've heard of uh, quite a few people in-game. The human scavs attacking each other for the kit, so I am going to give him a little bit of a wide berth. That flashlight is brilliant. I just wonder if it'll give him a position away. Right, so something's kicking off down here. Maybe I might be a bit just having a look down here. Of course, if you didn't know, when you've got full body armor on and the rest of the kit, you actually, uh, your movement speed is reduced and slowed down normal. So let's just creep up here a little bit and have a little listen. There's a body over to my right. I'm very cautious for that guy that was in that crate down there. Ooh, the tension. This is the worst bit. As you start to search, this is when the other players come and attack you. Right, so I'll have his knife because I can sell that. Just see what's in his vest. What have we got in here? We've got some clips, some mags. Nothing in his pockets, what about in his bag? What have we got? Cigarettes? No, I'll take those because even if I haven't got a weapon to use them, I can probably sell them. In fact, you know what? I'll we'll take those as well. Let's just be sneaky beaky. The sneaking around in this game is brilliant. There is, a, as I mentioned, there is such an atmosphere in this game. I think it's the no hood and the audio. It just makes it very, very visceral. Now, that flashlight is giving my position away. I know that. Real time lighting, beautiful. Right. I know there are crates over there, but I usually see a lot of dead bodies when I'm over there. Just trying to be careful here, because I'm sure that guy was stood over here. And we do have another body here. Let's just 
just have a look and see what he's got. Unsearched. What have we got? What have we got? More mags. Again, I'm going to take these because I can sell them. Unless, of course, I end up finding a weapon that, I'll, that they'll actually fit in. Nothing in his pockets. What has he got in his bag? Nothing. So let's just grab these. Run out of space. I don't know. I'll leave that one. Waiting for a firefight. I'm waiting to get ambushed. It's, it's terrifying when you start to collect things expecting somebody. The, the sound of footsteps as you put your head in one of these boxes here and pop, pop, pop. Let me just make sure there's nobody up there. Get me a light on. Is that somebody up there? No. Right, let me open these boxes quickly. Come on, in the factory. We want some goodies, please. Is that it? Oh, that's terrible. Do you know what? We'll take them anyway. And my next problem is going to be in a minute is I can never remember where the damn exit is. Which end it's at. Because this level is... It's basically like a rectangle cut in four. With a little divider. Now I know there's a couple of jackets behind me, but I'm just worried that someone's going to come through these doors with a shotgun, which has happened before, and kill me instantly. Okay, so we've got a battery, some Marlboro cigarettes, and some rubles. Money, 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 money makes the world go round. I'm not going to eat those. Potato chips, I think they are. Probably don't need them, but you know what? I'm going to have them anyway. Feeling like a sticky snack. Right, bad boy. Now, is it down that end, the exit, or is this end? And there's a door over to my left. I've got no idea where this goes. Let's just open it and find out. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, we've got a body. Right. So that means there has been some action here at some point. You know what? I'm just going to risk it. It's got a backpack on as well. Let's have a look in there. Come on, give us something good. Okay, we've got some bandages, a uh, medical kit. We've got a pistol, we can take that. We'll definitely take that because we can sell that. I'm going to run out of space here now, so... Hmm... Let's... Get rid of the knife, actually, so we'll get rid of the knife so I can take the pistol. Pistol's worth more. And that med bag is quite useful, so I shall take that and put that in the special box, as it were, in the main game. And we'll take you... Get rid of a couple of these, and I'll take those because I think they actually go in that pistol. Now, I think at this stage I will actually want to extract now because I'm. Um, it's usually when I end up staying in too long. It's when I get. Oh Jesus Christ, man! The fucking just come out of nowhere. Now that's that, that's an AI scav. I think this is the door, the red one. Yes, it is, and there's a body there, so I'm going to close that door, because I've been killed before coming in here at the exit when both doors were open. And it doesn't look like he's got anything, but let's have a quick look. Has he got nothing? What have we got in here? Unsearched, unsearched. There's not going to be anything good on here. What's that? A bandage or something? Not a lot, but I might get... I'll take the hatchet and get rid of that, because I think... I don't know if it does more attack or whether it's worth anything more. I've got no idea, but let's... Be careful here, because the door's open. This is the exit on this one. This is about the only level. I know where it is when I'm near to it, but I never know which bloody end it's at. I have been killed here as well. There's nobody in it. Right, close that door. And we're probably safe to extract now. By running up to this door. Yes, we finally made it. A successful scav hunt. We went in like a chav. We got our blueberry hat, and it's time to extract. So, there we go. Alt T. Check how many we've got. So that is my kind of first successful extraction as uh, Dimitri, I think it was. And uh, so now I'm going to grab everything out of here from this scav run. And I get to keep all this. So I can actually use it in the main game. So if you are struggling with any kit and you haven't got any kit like me in the main game, then do this. And as you can see, that AK-47... All these ruples I've got, I actually bought them on the trader's market. And I'm going to have a look at a video of that in the next video because it is frigging confusing. And uh, 
I've got it, but I haven't got any clips or mags or rounds or anything for it. But that's the joy, I suppose, of Escape from Tarkov. And we know that they're going to be wiping the servers anyway. But hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a successful extraction from me, Paraplays, in the beta testing of Escape from Tarkov. And I will be doing some more videos real soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that bell. Ding dong. See you in the next video.